Hey everybody, hope you are confident and studying well. Let's continue the revision series. In this video, we are gonna discuss output based question on the random module. Alright, let's check out the questions from one of the sample paper for the current session. After scrolling, we got the question based on the random module. It is 25th question. From the options A to D, we need to identify the correct outputs. It means what you may get more than one correct options. Along with that, we need to find out the minimum as well as maximum possible value for the variable B. So here is the code and here are the options. It will be difficult to solve there. So here we are. If you want to try it yourself, pause the video. Hope you got it correct. If not, let's work out. Here is the dry run table. Let's try to understand the code. Random module got imported and here is a list of strings. From the random module, we are using randin function. It means this function will generate number from 0 to 3 inclusive of both the limits. Means we will get 0, 1, 2 and 3. In the for loop, i variable will take the values in the range of b. With the help of print statement, we are printing the character from the string. After character star will get concatenated and here is the end parameter which is nothing but space. Alright then, let's try to find out the output of this code using dry run table. Here is the value of b, i. What will be the value of language i? But we need to take i of i. So, it will take the character, not the whole string. Alright, here are the values in the first pass. If we consider this function will generate 0, for loop will not execute. We know the working of range function. Here, end limit is exclusive. In this case, end limit is 0. The start limit will be 0 and the end limit will be minus 1. That's why this loop will not execute for the value of b as 0. Alright then, let's check out for the other possible values. If b will be 1, it means range of 1. Range of 1 means the loop will execute once the value of i will be 0. Let's place the value of i here. It will be language of 0. At 0th position, we have string python. And using these two indices, we are actually writing 0 of 0. It means from the string, we need only character which is at the index 0. It is nothing but p. We got the character p. After b, we need to concatenate star. So, we will get p star. It means we got one of the output. Hope you got the working of the code. In the same way, we will work out for the remaining values of b. Okay, then let's consider if b will be 2. It will be range of 2. Values of i will be 0 and 1. At the 0th index, we have this string and at the first index, we have ruby. So, for the first string, we need 0, 0. It means we will be taking the first character. That's why we got p star. Then for the second iteration, it will be language of 1, 1. So from this string ruby, you will be taking u. That's why you will be getting u star. In this way, we got the second output. This is the first possible output. Here is the second possible output. Now only one value is pending that is 3. Range of 3 means the value of i will be 0, 1, 2. It means we are taking the string at the 0, 8 index, first index and the second index. As usual, in the first pass, we will be taking the 0th character from this string, it means p star. In the second pass, again we will be taking u, it means u star. In the third iteration, from this string, we will be taking v, it means v star. Because v is at the index 2. In this way, we got the third possible output. Note down these outputs, we will go back to the question paper and check this output with the given options. Alright then, let's compare it. We may get P star. So, this is one of the possible output. Look at the first option A. That also we can get P star, U star and capital V star. When we look at the remaining two options, these are not possible outputs. That's why the correct options are A and D. Hope you understood this explanation. With that, we got the correct outputs. Now, we need to tell the maximum and minimum value for the variable B. We know what's the answer. Minimum value for b is 0 and the maximum value is nothing but 3 because random function includes both the limits. Alright then, let's check out one more sample paper for the current session. Let's scroll down and check out the question based on random module. 
So here it is, same question number 25th. I will highly recommend you to pause the video and try it yourself. Hope you got the correct output. If not, let's work out together. Here is the dry run table. Let's check out the code in short. We have list of numbers. Using randin, we are setting the beginning value. It will be 1, 2 and 3. There is one more variable last. Here we are using rand range function. Hope you know the working of rand range function we have already discussed in the previous video. If you did not check it, I will suggest you to go through this video. This function generally has three parameters, start, end and the step. If you don't mention step, it will be by default one and the end limit is exclusive. So if we are writing 2 comma 5, it means it will generate number from 2, 3 and 4. In this way, we got the values of last. It will be 2, 3, 4. So values of the beginning will be 1, 2, 3 and the values of the last will be 2, 3, 4. Hope this is clear to you. Now let's proceed. I is iterating from beginning to last. Anyhow, this end limit is exclusive. It means it will generate up to last. Now let's check out exactly what we are printing. Based on the value of i, we are printing the elements of the list. And the end parameter is dash. Alright then, let's check out the individual values in each pass. There are two variables. Now we need to do the permutations and combinations. The value of beginning is 1, 2, 3 and the value of last is 2, 3, 4. So what we will do, we will take the first value and we will do the combination with all three values. In the same way, then we will take the second value and we will do the combination with all the values of last. Similarly, we will do for the last value too. Okay, then here is the beginning and here are the values of last. If the value of begin is 1 and the value of last will be 2, it means i will be 1 comma 2. Let's write the indices 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. The elements which is at the index is 20, 20 and then dash. And the element which is at the index 2 is 30, 30 and dash. In this way we got the first possible output. In this way we have to calculate if the value of the last will be 3. The value of i will be 1, 2, 3. So 20 dash, 30 dash and 40 dash. If we consider the value of last as 4, we will be getting the value 1, 2, 3, 4. It means 20 dash, 30 dash, 40 dash and 50 dash. With that the combination with the value 1 got over. Now we need to do the combination with the value 2. It means the value of begin will be 2 and the last will be 2, 3, 4. Let's work out then for the value 2. If begin is 2 and last is 2, it means the value of i will be 2. The element which is at the index 2 is 30, it means 30 dash. In this way for these values we will get this possible output. Now it's time for the combination with the value 3, 3, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4. In case of 3, 2, no output you will get because the loop will not execute. 3, 3 means it will be 40 dash. 3, 4 means it will be 40 dash, 50 dash. So here are the outputs. Alright, it's time to analyze the output. If we check our possible output, it is getting started with 20, 30 or 40. It is not getting started with 10. It means this is incorrect. All other options are starting with 30. So let's concentrate on this part only. 30 dash, 40 dash, 50 dash. Yes, this is possible. It means this is the correct choice. 30, 40, 50, 60 that we are not getting. This is incorrect. Even we are not getting this also. It means the first option is the correct choice. And you can easily answer this question. Maximum value for the variable begin and last. The maximum value of begin is 3 and the maximum value for last is 4. Hope you understood this explanation too. So after solving two questions, here is the sample paper issued by CBSC for the current session. Let's check out the question from these two. So here it is, same 25th question. If you can do it yourself, I would suggest to pause the video. If you got the correct output, well done, pat yourself. If not also, here we are. Let's do it together. Variable A is initialized with one string and B is taking the values using randin function. So what are the possible values of b? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. In case of randin function, both the limits are inclusive. 
All right, let's check out the for loop. I is iterating over the values of b with the step two. Using print, we are printing the characters from the string based on the value of i followed by hash symbol. All right, then let's check out the individual values. Here are the possible values for the b: one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's consider value one. In this case, use should be clear with the working of range function. It takes three parameters: starting limit, end limit, and step. As in this range function, step is mentioned. You cannot skip the starting value. That's why zero is also specified there. End limit is exclusive. We know that. So with these values, we got zero. It means this will work out for once. I of zero means what? We will get w w hash. If we consider two as the value of b, the loop will be zero two two. Again, with the value of zero, this loop will execute once. Value of i is nothing but zero. So again, we will get w. Now the value of b we are going to consider as three. Zero comma three comma two means this loop will generate two values. It means the loop is gonna execute for two times. The first value of i is zero. It means we got w hash. The second value of i will be two. At the second index, we have s. It means we will get s hash. Why we got zero two? Because the step is mentioned as two. The next value will generate in a step of two. Let's continue to the next iteration. The value of b is four zero four two. Again, we are getting the same values, so same output. Let's proceed. Value of b is five zero five two. We got three values. This loop will execute for three times. The first value is zero, second is two, and the third value is four. So based on indices, we will get the letters w hash, s hash, and o hash. Here is the last value of b. That is nothing but six. Again, we got the same values. We got the same output. It's time to cross-check these outputs with the given options. After comparing the outputs with the given options, we got to know A will be the possible output. Even C can be the possible output. These type of outputs are not possible. In this way, we got the correct output. Don't forget to answer this question. Otherwise, you will lose one mark. What is the minimum and maximum possible value of B? You know that minimum value will be one and max will be six. Hope you understood this explanation too. Here is one of the sample paper for the current session. When I was scrolling down this paper, I got this question. Question number twenty-four. This is based on the math and the statistic module. So along with random module make sure you are familiar with the functions of math module as well as statistic module so you will be writing the answer of this question in the comments i will be waiting for your answer in this we need to tell mathematical functions which result the largest integer less than or equal to given number so from math module you need to tell me this function there is one more question which is based on the statistic module in which we need to tell the function which returns most frequently occurring value in the list or data set and there is a or option for the same question in which we need to tell the function from the statistics module which calculates arithmetic average it's so simple so answer it so with that let's wind up today's video in case of any doubt let me know in the comments in the next video we will start file handling so stay tuned for the upcoming videos